licking butter off a knife. Something like that. Break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailed. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot. But I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell? Come on, Arthur! Get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn! You okay? I think so. Keep your head now. Let's finish. job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. You shooting it or not? Go on then. I'm done wasting my breath on you. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. 
I know. It's been fun! Yep. Hey, friend. Go on. Keep. Let's go, boy.
What? Yep. Hey, who's there? It's Arthur. Welcome back. Leave me alone. What are you doing, Dad? <sighs> Throwing rocks at you, Driscoll? Why? Because he's an old Driscoll. Yo, he said that was bad. Leave him alone. Go on, away with you. But you said... Get away with you. Leave the rock throwing to the grown-ups. Karen, Karen. In no mood for this day. You love them horses, don't you? Keeps me busy. Yeah, you gotta earn your keep. Yeah, yeah. How are things? Hello, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. Morning, T. Sure. Morning, Arthur. Good. You know, we've been riding the. Let's long get time that together, broken down we? and in the pot. Sure. When I first met you, I. I used to think you were all stuck up. I know. You told me a fair few times. Okay, then. I did? I'm sorry. No, you ain't. Thank you, Arthur. I don't blame you. I used to think you was one sorry excuse for a man. Well, you've you've changed your mind since then, right? Absolutely, Bill. We all have. Ain't that so, Arthur? Sure. What is it you call them? Sheep in wolf's clothing. That's it. did good with Sean. He wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. 
Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Morning, Arthur. Hello. Morning. My husband owes you money. Here it is. Thank you. And your husband, is he well? He's dead. Combination of beatings and sickness did for him. I think he can do it. Yep. Good. Gonna be a good day. Hey, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. I can say the same. Susan! Okay there? What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Hold 
on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. the water there? You mean? You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Well, first, we need some bait. Cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There we go. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Jinx it, kid. Look, Jack, it's a red fin pickerel. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. I'm going 
gonna try my luck over there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. There! Got him! This one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. No Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Doug
Duchess? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. I just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. I meant to tell you, the Pinkertons also said they caught up with Mac. Bastards finished him off. Oh, damn it. I assumed as much, but that is a real shame. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just ain't doing that no more. We all of us have to sing for our supper. You busy, Arthur? Singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, then that's fine, too. Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dud. Do whatever you goddamn please. I stand above her station. She thinks we don't know her station. That horrendous old hag. How dare she. Hi. Everything all right? Who does that woman think she is? Sometimes you just gotta humor her. Okay, well, let's talk more later. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Money in the pot. Made it big. Mm, you lucky people. Javier? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north. 
On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is to... 